Jess, where are we going? Guys, it is currently almost 11 o'clock at night and we're about to board a flight and head to Japan. I'm so excited. This is our favorite country to travel to. We always go every single year. And this year we are going to go skiing. Yes, because if we learn from Iceland, we pack for the weather we're going to, not what we're having right now. So yeah, that's why we had to fly home to Perth. We need to swap our t-shirts for jumpers because it's going to be a little bit cold in Japan this time of year. It is so weird being in winter clothes again. There you go. Thanks. Alright, thanks mate. Thank you. Cheers. Alrighty guys, before heading towards Japan, we need to make our way towards Sydney. To the Pretty quick. Hopefully we can sleep and then we'll be good for the next flight. Wait, so we've just got off a red eye flight and I was walking and I was like, why do my feet feel so weird? I've literally put my boots on the wrong feet. Like, <laughs> that was a long, a long night. <laughs> Cheers, Bobs. Welcome to Much Sydney. needed coffee. We just pulled the bus over from the domestic airport into the international and then we've got like a two hour gap until our next flight. And our next flight is 10 hours. So hopefully we get some sleep and it goes quick. We're currently flying with Qantas and whenever in Australia, we love flying Qantas. And we've realized that I think they do the best airline food because last night it was 12 o'clock. We jumped on our plane and usually we're pretty good at saying no to the food. Like we don't usually want to eat at midnight because then it makes all our eating pattern weird. And then we got there and we're trying to fall asleep. And then she came over with this veggie burger and the bun was like toasted and warm and it smells so good and we couldn't say no. So we basically had a midnight snack on our flight and now I have regret because I ate a burger at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're not having our coffee. I'm so excited to go to Japan. I see Sydney just out there. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty guys, about to jump onto our flight. Ten hours. Ten hours to a sun but it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be quick. Is it? <laughs> Hello. Movies. Guys, we're just over an hour till we get to Japan. But <laughs> it's a dream come true. <laughs> now, now being served. Well, Another burger. <laughs> looks so good. This and <laughs> Be kind to the beggar that's inside of you and the fiend that you are hiding to. Welcome to Osaka's Kensei Airport. Local time just coming up to 22 minutes to 68 for your safety first. Bye. Thank you. Welcome to Osaka, everybody. You ready for the cold? We're <laughs> looking at your jacket. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Japan. It feels so good to be here. It is chilly. We've got our warm winter jackets on, but we're not actually going to be spending the night here in Osaka. We're going up to a place called Kobe, or Kobe, like the Kobe beef place if you're Australian. So we're actually just going to jump on a bus. Um, it's about an hour outside of the city, so... They call it a limo bus. A limo bus. Yeah. Sounds fancy, so we're just going to go get our tickets. The bus information is literally just here. And then we're just gonna jump on the bus and head to Kobe. So right outside the train station, just come to bus ticket terminal C. It's about 1,950 yen. I'll put that up in Australian and US. And then super easy, number six, and it's all signed. It says for Kobe. And we just jump on here. And we won't lie, guys, they See, do call it limousine, limousine bus. buses. It's also number six. There it is. So we've just been told the next one comes at 7.45. And you guys have never been to Japan. The Japanese people are super polite, orderly line. And then we just gave our baggage to this gentleman over here. He gave us a baggage tag. And then we'll see it when we jump out.
Alright, so the bus is super easy, it just drops us off at the Kobe Central Station. Arigato gozaimasu! Arigato gozaimasu! So yeah, the bus basically drops you out of the front of the main JR station and we're staying at a hotel that's like a two minute walk away from the bus stop. So we're just walking there now, but it's so good to be back here. Everyone is seriously so friendly and I practiced. When I got off the bus, I said, Arigato gozaimasu! Did I say it right? You said it very good. <laughs> It's so weird because the hotel card, it's like paper. Huh. <laughs> Never seen that before. A little hotel for the night. You might need to pop the paper in. There we go. Perfect. Come in. Wow, this is nice. How cute is it as well? This is like the first time I've ever stayed at a hotel where they've given me a face mask for the night. <laughs> Just for so the women, cool. they didn't give me one. You know, like only for the women. We're like, okay, thanks. <laughs> So we're just staying here the one night because we are slowly making our way up the Kansai region. We have a whole bunch of fun and unique activities and adventures that we're going to be going on this week. Including a lot of snow sports and skiing because currently it is winter here in Japan and we absolutely love coming to Japan in the winter. Oh, I totally forgot. Guys, oh, have we? If you guys are new around here, this is actually the third time we've come to Japan. So we absolutely love it here. And everything keeps like coming back to us. And remember, they always give you really cute like pajama stuff. Oh yeah, in the hotel. Yes, and the little robes. And it's so cute because they button up, remember? Oh yeah, They're, it's like, like a big, it's like a nighty. Oh yes, I totally forgot. And there's like a 7-Eleven and a family mart outside. They're the two markets that you'll see everywhere. And they sell so much food in those shops. So yeah, the first time we came to Japan, we actually wanted to hit the hot spot. So we did Tokyo, Hiroshima. We actually went to Osaka and Kyoto. So we'll link below if you want to see that series. And then the second time we came was during the winter. And that's when we completely fell in love with the snow here in Japan. So we went to the Miyagi prefecture during that time. It's kind of like near more of the Tokyo area. And that's where we went and did our first time skiing and went to temples and castles during the winter. And we loved it so much that now we're doing the same thing, but in the Kansai region and I'm so excited. So now a couple of visits to Japan we've only ever found one ATM that takes cards and we've tested this with a few people that have come to Japan and, and they all agree that they've only ever been able to get cash out at the ATM inside the 7-Eleven which is the last place you would think to get cash out. That's our top tip for you guys. Also we flew all the way to Australia for winter clothes and I forgot to pack an umbrella. Good luck. <laughs> this might just look like a video game to you, but this is the this is the ATM at the 7-Eleven. Recommend just getting your cash out from here. I know back home I normally wouldn't go to a 7-Eleven, but in Japan they are kings here. You can get snacks, you can also get food here as well. We're just here to grab some water. It's a bit really thirsty, but they have everything at these stores. So many snacks we haven't tried. Fried squid and seaweed snacks. Alright, I think we need bed. <laughs> it's cooked rice. It's a big thing of rice. Alright, we're coming for water. We've been traveling for 24 hours, we need sleep. If I wasn't full from my burger I just had, I would probably buy this. But what are these? Look how perfect this ice cream is. <laughs> okay, no. Guys, I just caught Jess living her best. Oh. oh, bedtime. Bedtime. Everything is in Japanese, so I don't know what anything is. Is that egg? I think that could be egg. I'll just hope. <laughs> How cute is the buffet breakfast here? This is in the hotel, and it's like a very Japanese style breakfast. and. This is so cool, Steve. Cheers, Bob. Cheers. Oh yeah, let's do an egg. I've been practicing using my chopsticks. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> okay guys, so we just got to Japan. We're about to head up to go to a ski resort to go and see some snow here in Japan. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe because the Japan content is just starting. <laughs> <laughs> that the adventure is only beginning yes <laughs> we'll see you guys next time bye
<laughs> I'll come to Japan without trying to win something in the core game. Okay. <laughs> 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 